In Kenya, we don't say, God damn, she is beautiful. We say, Yani kuna jama na kula iyo mali. This guy is laughing. Because in Kenya, when you want to call someone who's far, you do this. <laughs> Bro, what Nigerians do is worse. How do you call someone like this? What, what it's like you? you're kissing How you do? <laughs> Simple. What the? F- Bro, that's so weird. It's yes. even weirder for a guy to do it. Ow! How do you do? What is... Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I know you guys must have missed my face for like the past three days. I think I've been doing voiceover, but uh, I think I have time today to post this video because I discovered, uh, I think I did a video maybe three weeks ago where I discovered that there are some white Kenyans, like white men that are Kenyans, which is actually strange. You know, when I did a video like almost three years ago and i said south africans and kenyans is like they have this collaboration and they, they have so much in common and they are so unified that uh, a lot of people agreed with me because they are white south africans what i never knew was that there are also white kenyans i know there are kenyan indians but me i've never heard of white kenyans so if they are saying maybe africans africans now day to day we say maybe they have well i don't understand but people a lot of people clarified it for me in the comment section that there are white people that are kenyans they, are, they have kenyan passport they are claiming kenyan and eh, i was just surprised though some kenyans are uh, they don't agree please leave your thoughts down in the comment section so out of all those white kenyans now i don't know whether i will classify this lady now that i want to show you guys a white kenyan or indian kenyan because she doesn't look indian to me so she was the one that was now telling us on tiktok about some myths and mythology of kenya you know it's very strange when a white man is the one telling you that uh that there are some things peculiar to africa and she was explaining it was weird but uh out of curiosity i was able to pick one or two things and i'm like ah, let me come and show fellow kenyans or our, our fellow kenya whether these things are true or they are not true so we are going to be playing some of the things that she said are peculiar to only Kenyans. Shopping at a supermarket in Nairobi is an extreme sport. First of all, must you touch me? I touch you while we're in the queue. Secondly, there is no way we are going to be walking out with a receipt as long as you did when Nakuma existed. And when it comes to payment, if you have m on a phone that lags every single time you want to pay, just let the guy behind you go in first. Also, that's secretly me, but hey. Also, this is a suggestion. We might need some sort of arrows on uh, the supermarket flows and some sort of directions, maybe lanes, because why are you running into me head first? And lastly, if you are my favorite supermarket, why in the hell would you move things from where they were before? You know, some of us don't like changes. And before I forget, if you are in the queue, please don't come close to me. Especially if you're a woman, because some of you all are smelling like my ex-boyfriend, you know? I came to shop. I didn't came I didn't come to get PTSD. Ah huh? <laughs> hey. It's very strange, your white Kenyan. I mean, is this one Kenyan Indian? Please if you know her ethnicity, because even she sounds oh well, <laughs> I don't even know where she's Kenyan. That's one thing for sure that she's Kenyan. So one thing me I noticed about shopping in malls, there are a lot of malls in Kenya. Kenya is a place that every corner, Thika Road Mall, Nakumat, Rungai, lot of malls, lot of Westgate Mall, every that places, and they have a lot of malls for everything you want. And one thing I noticed about Kenya mall is that since that incident with the Ashabab, this thing, almost 15 years ago, or how many years ago, maybe 10 years ago, they don't allow you to snap pictures in malls you know there are some malls that have recreational centers there are some malls that if you maybe if you go to shop maybe you just take video of your children of yourself they don't allow it i think maybe it's from the ptsd of what happened but recently i saw that someone went to a kenya mall and was able to record videos in fact she's a popular youtuber and i was like shocked that as in be allowed that you use uh your phone, your camera to record while shopping in the in the mall. Please 
confirm me because I was shocked though. Each time you go to a mall, they don't allow you to record or take pictures in the mall. They say it's not permitted, it's not allowed. Some, they even write it before you enter. But I saw the popular YouTuber, a Kenyan popular YouTuber, went to a mall and recorded it. Ah, I was like, whoa, that's great. In Kenya, when we're angry, we don't say, oh my God, I need to breathe and just calm down. We say, where? What is more Kenyan for uh, than you to be speaking Kiswahili? Even me, if I can speak Kiswahili now, I'm, I'm already Kenyan. And nobody can tell me I'm not Kenyan. Let Kenyans do anything and everything but give you a nickname. Y'all are not seeing heaven. I'm winning kwa baba, bro. Because how are you calling master of the foreheads? Visionary. <laughs> 100 GB storage box. Wiggy G? Where is Wiggy G? Wiggy G? <laughs> Y'all's nasty, yo. Wiggy G? Where is Wiggy G? Ha, well, I don't know what that means, but as a East African, it's because she's Indian or maybe she's not a uh, black uh, ancestral. <laughs> If you get what I mean, I'm trying to explain so that it's not sound offensive. That doesn't diminish the fact that she says she's Kenyan and that she's Kenyan. But if you are originally East African, like all your ancestors, all your ancestors have been from East Africa, that forehead is one thing that is peculiar to East Africans. And I know it's like, come on, almost that's one of the physical features you used to recognize uh, East African. They have it in Uganda, Tanzania, but it's more pronounced in Kenya. So I don't know why she found it strange. We're Kenyan Indian. Of course, we live in either South Sea, Parklands, Ongara. We're Kenyan Indian. Of course, daddy's money reigns supreme. Always. We're Kenyan Indian. Of course, we're going to explain what makes us Kenyan, even though we are literally the 43rd tribe of the country. We're Kenyan Indian. Of course, we're going to have a problem with someone of our ethnicity marrying outside the culture. We're Kenyan Indian. We hate being called Muhindi, but love being called Asian. We're Kenyan Indian. Of course, we own supermarkets or hardwares. We're Kenyan Indian. Of course, we're going to mix up all the three languages and pretend we made a sentence that made sense. We're Kenyan Indian. Of course, we live with our parents. We're Is it that all Kenyan Indians are rich because she's saying it like that this money is going to reign supreme and stuff like that, which is a pretty privilege to have? And they don't intermarry. Is that not the best way to mix with a place that? Because okay, you like being called called Asian. That was what she said. That they like being called Asian, but Asian American. I'm just confused because we don't have that in Nigeria. We don't have that in Nigeria. Even if you are too like, if you are the slightest of the slightest of the, just a little bit fair, like little, very, 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 very fair in Nigeria. People tend to call you Igbo, even though you're not. A lot of your features are African. A lot of your features are maybe peculiar to a tribe in Nigeria, but you're just too fair. They'll just call you a white man or something like that, just jokingly. Not to talk of a literal Indian being a Nigerian. Ah, merely thinking of that, Seth, it sounds strange to me. And there's this other lady that wants to get keep having this big, uh, this thing that they used to recognize Kenyans everywhere. You want to get, keep, I'm like, girl, girl, please, no, <laughs> know the boundary. Because even if you, if you're a tourist, uh, visitor in Kenya, that's the only thing you can show that you've been to Kenya is to buy that thing. Like if you travel to Kenya, you don't buy that, uh, wrist, uh, wrist, uh, bead, Kenyan bead something. Then I, I don't know. People might not believe you. And she's trying to get keep it. Ah, what is Zungu Seth? If there's one thing I don't understand, why the heck, why the heck do different people who are not Kenyan come to Kenya, buy themselves this Kenyan bracelet, and wear it, and wear it as if they're Kenyans and be proud of wearing this bracelet as if you're Kenyan? Like, mm -mm. I'll be walking down the streets looking at you thinking, oh my gosh! Kenyan, oh, I found my one. No, tell me why this person is Nigerian. Yes, and so wearing my Kenyan bracelet. Uh -uh. Like, this is here to tell other Kenyans, yo, look at me and look at you. 
We're the same. We're in the same club. We're in the same team. But you are coming here now to confuse us and make us do Lulu. Like, like, what is this? What is this shenanigans? against? I'm not coming to your country s buying something that isn't gonna make make you think, oh, she's Yoruba. No, <laughs> I'm not doing that. Why are you doing that? Why? Why? Like, <sighs> oh, you do you, but why not give yourself a personalized bracelet? If you need, if you, if you really need the Kenyan flag on it, get the one half with the Kenyan flag. The other half, your, your own country. Okay. She's really pissed. But I'll get your own country. Like it's, it's cheap. It's hella cheap to get this personalized in Kenya. Except someone is, someone is trying to steal you. So don't be dumb as well. I'll come and rip out that bracelet if you're not Kenyan and you don't remove it. Bye. Eh? <laughs> She's saucy like, in as much as she's yeah, is correct that especially maybe if you're in a foreign like maybe if you're in london in us and you see that bracelet is meant to be like a recognition of uh the same nationality but a lot of people just like it because it's is nice it's fashionable and it's just nice it's just beat and and a country flag I'm sure a lot of people want to resonate with Kenyans. Don't take it too personal. If you're among the Kenyans that said, we other countries or other uh, nationalities should not be using your beat, leave it down in the comments. But if you said there's no big deal there, you just even promote Kenya uh, country to a larger audience, leave it down in the comment section. That's all the clip I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching my videos. See you guys in my next video.